Well hello there Minecrafters, thanks for coming by and welcome to our tutorial on custom equipment for mobs in 1.9. Yes, they have already changed the way that equipment works with mobs since 1.8. We are looking at Snapshot 15W32A, which is the second week of snapshots of the 1.9 update just in case you're watching in the future. But you need to know this stuff, I thought I should share it with you because the old method no longer works, it's intentional, there are some new tags that you have to use in order to play around with custom mobs. So before we get into it, I'm going to show you the old method. This is what you're used to if you're a map maker. I've got a zombie summoning above the command block. His name is Zombo. And we use this equipment tag. I've got some blank slots here, which is item in hand and uh, different armor. And then I've got a custom player head on that zombie. You can see here it no longer works. This was intentionally removed. And I actually like the new tags. But before I show you those things, I want to show you this little trick. As a map maker, you should know this. Uh, this little command here called the Entity Data Command. If you write it out like this and you have whatever, whatever is a mob you want to uh, issue it to, and then you put these squiggly, curly, fancy, whatever type of brackets they are with nothing in the middle, you issue that command, it will give you all the info down here what is about this zombie or anything you can actually alter about that zombie. All these little things you can change. Now, we've got the Armor Items tag. That's really easy to remember. Everything in the armor, dealing with uh, leggings, boots, uh, chest plate, all that sort of stuff. And then at the little bit, little bit past here, we also have another tag called hand items. Now this one's really cool. If you look over here, it's right there, hand items. Syntax or uh, capitalization is very important. You have to be spelled exactly that way. We've got two slots this time. That means we can have dual wielding or, or uh, Mobs holding two items at once, which is going to be open up a lot of potential for map makers to play around with, I think. So now that we know that, it works basically the same structure. You just have to use the new tag. So I've got Zombo here. We've got the armor items tag. And this is easy to remember. We've got zero. That's the lowest. One goes up higher, which is the pants. Two is going to be the chest plate. So it works the same. we got ID, colon, iron boots. If I summon him, he's got the iron boots. Next, we've got the next step up. we got the iron legging, which is in slot one. You can see here we've got the boots and the leggings on Zombo now. And then the, the second slot or the third, <laughs> the third uh, spot is next higher up, the chest plate. You can see there. And then finally slot three or the fourth item is the helmet, the head slot. And that's where you put your custom player skull. So you can see here now we don't need a block above his head because he's not going to burn. And if you want to use the player skull, it's the same layout. You just put it in that third tag. You, you leave these blank. Uh, three, the uh, slot three, we have ID, colon, skull, Damage 3, which is the player texture, the player head. And then we put the tag here. This is the same layout as you did before. Skull owner, and then whoever's name you want in there. And you can see there's my head. Very good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is the new uh, armor, armor items tag. The equipment tag no longer works, so get used to this. And then also we have the hand items tag. So this is what they're going to hold in their hand. So I've got Zombo here. He's got the hand items tag with zero. Zero is actually the dominant hand, and one is the off hand. So I've got an iron sword, and right now his dominant hand is his right hand. But we also have another tag. This is the left-handed tag. If I change that to true, then I'm not going to change the zero or the one slot, but you'll see now in his, uh, in his left hand, because it's dominant, I haven't changed anything except I've kept the iron sword in zero slot. Now his dominant hand is the left hand. So you can add two items if you want. It doesn't even have to be a weapon. I've got a uh, iron sword in the dominant hand of zero, and in the one slot, the off hand, I've got the quartz block. And if I summon this guy, he's got a quartz block in one hand and a sword in the other hand. And you can combine them all just like normal with all your commands here. We've got a uh, custom name here. We've got the hand items. We've got a command block and a quartz block. We've got armor items, and uh, you can see here it's all blank except for a player skull which is my own face. <laughs> and then at the very end, we have the newly fixed true custom name visible, which means when I summon this guy, it doesn't matter where I'm looking, I can always see his name. I love that change. Oh man, it works so much better now that you can see that. These other guys, I can only see when I put my mouse to them. 
and uh, Q-Man in here, I can see him totally. So that is really, really cool. Now we can have dual wielding or whatever, two-handed mobs you can play around with. And if you want to be really fun, you can do a little uh, thing here with the entity data. Change the left-handed false and change it back to left-handed true. And you can see when I turn this clock on, because the dominant hand is switching, maybe we're juggling, I don't know. Maybe that could open up some fun possibilities. But yeah, so get used to those commands. No longer the equipment tag works. We got to use the armor items and the hand items tags as long as as well as the left-handed tag you can use as well. But thanks guys so much for watching. Enjoy your minecrafting and have a great day.